Namaste, beautiful souls. We are doing a pick a card on what blessings are coming in for June. And we have a great deal of things coming in for June. I have them on my phone. Um, we had a 6 6 angel portal yesterday, which is restoring balance with love and relationships. 6 10, we have the new moon eclipse in Gemini, heart over mind, soul over body. Are you standing in your divine truth? On the 11th, we have Mars entering Leo. On the 20th, I will be hosting a meditation for summer solstice. We're going to be creating a sun wheel with things found in nature. We are going to be doing a drum meditation in circles, so bring your drum and rattle. You can register at the infinityfoundation.org. It's on the 19th. Yes, on the 19th at 10.30 a.m., infinityfoundation.org. On the 21st, Jupiter goes, Jupiter goes in retrograde. Um, time to reflect inward. On the 22nd, Mercury goes red direct. On the 23rd, Saturn sextile goes in Chiron. On the 24th, we have a full moon in Capricorn manifesting your dreams. And on the 25th, Neptune in retrograde. So renewing your spiritual creative side. And also getting lucid dreams during Neptune. Okay, if you guys want to close your eyes, take a deep inhale, breathing in the breath of God. Calling for dear ascended masters, your spirit guides, and angels into your heart. Evoking Saint Germain and the violet flame to burn off fear, anger, hurt. Calling forward Archangel Raphael to the east to heal our body, mind, and soul. Giving us courage to let go of any fear or anger in our heart. Archangel Michael is here to cut cords to shield us of anything that is not serving our higher self. Archangel Gabriel to the west, God's messenger, allowing us to be in our truth. Archangel Uriel to the north, bringing us divine light. Every cell, every tissue, each internal organ, bringing us the law of forgiveness, the law of compassion for ourselves and others. Bring us that miracle in the 11th hour. Archangel Santa Fe grounds us to mother earth from below. And Archangel Metatron brings us the God self, the Christ consciousness. We declare this our sacred space as we are protected on all six corners of the universe. And so it is. Okay, so if you want to breathe into one, two, or three, or A, B, and C, however you would like to breathe into to see what your blessings are, we're going to be starting at 250. Wait, angels, what blessings are coming in for pile number one? So pile number one, you are ending something that is going to give you or move you towards your spiritual awakening. I feel that some of you may be fighting this. For some, it may be in regards to love with the number six here. You are working on your house. You are going to be receiving blessings around your house. Um either with family mother, family members, or your mother, or some of you may be moving a house, changing, you're changing something with your house that is going to be restore blessings. So some of you are focused on an official person. So this could be where you really weren't standing in your power, where you were giving up your power. Um, some of you are dealing with court documents, but I feel that you are standing in your power, and that's part of the blessing that is coming in for June. You are working on sudden wealth. So I feel that some of you have been trying to manifest or asking for blessings. Something that, this one is in regards to love. Something ended regarding love for you, pile number one, and this really had you consumed in your thoughts. And I feel like you were overthinking the situation. So you may have been looking at this person's photos. You may have been really reminiscing about the past. Thank you, angels. So this had to do with love for yourself. This had to do with a love relationship for some of you. You are moving and planning towards your future. Right now, pile number one, you may be struggling to make a decision around love. You may be struggling also to love yourself enough to take this blessing that the universe is giving you. 
it could be that you're just coming from poverty consciousness. You don't either feel worthy or you're too much in a state of fear to move forward. So you're coming out of poverty consciousness where you're feeling stuck manifesting your abundance or manifesting love. The universe is giving you your happiness, but you're not taking it. And let's get a little more clarity. So you are getting away from the poverty consciousness again with the thief upside down. I feel that you may be struggling on your spiritual journey is what I'm hearing. Thank you, angels. Okay, let's see why this coffin is here. Angels, why is the coffin here? Okay, so what ended? Okay, so there was an opportunity for a new beginning, and you did have a great deal of options open, file number one. I feel that you weren't able to come forward with communication. You didn't take forward action. There was a great deal of passion that you had that ended. Okay. Why are thoughts here upside down? This may have caused you a tower moment, pile number one. That's too many cards. One more, please. Thank you, angels. So you did go inward for healing, pile number one. This person was your wish fulfillment, was a high-level commitment for you. You did go inward to heal to be on your enlightenment journey because I feel like you are a little too much in your headspace. You're still focusing on learning how to love yourself and expressing love to yourself, pile number one, but also being able to turn that Queen of Cups upside down to be able to share that love cup with someone else. I feel that was, was blocking you. There is some fear, some abandonment. There's a fear of getting rejected. Thank you, angels. So pile number one, you let go of this relationship because it was you were trying to restore balance. You're somebody who is a leader. You could be um, you could own your own business, you could be in law, corporate, property. You are somebody that for you love was very difficult, and right now you're struggling to bring balance and to bring in your happiness, pile number one. All right, why is six upside down for pile number one? Thank you, angels. So you are working on loving yourself, letting go of being so guarded around love. I feel that, pile number one, you are coming out of your healing journey. You are on your ascension journey. Thank you, angels. Sudden love. So cycles are complaining. Something again needed to end. I feel that you still may be a little guarded. You are trying to work on yourself. For some of you, you may have just thrown yourself into work and really focused on wealth. If you're seeing the number 777, that is... A sign of your manifestation coming forward. Thank you, angels. Why is poverty consciousness here? Thank you, angels. So justice is being restored, and you are slowly coming in to offer yourself happiness. You're, you're getting more grounded, and you're coming out of being so guarded, being so wounded. You've gone through a great deal of trials and tribulations, pile number one. As a official person here. Thank you, angels. So you are, you felt really left out in the cold, pile number one, and you are starting to work on walking away from that energy and walking towards your wish fulfillment. That's a beautiful energy, pile number one. Okay, why is the lovers here upside down? Lovers upside down, angels, one more please. 
Thank you, angels. So you are fighting a tower moment, getting a little impatient, struggling to manifest this in the 3D. So you may think that you're not worthy of love. You may think that love is very hard, that love, true love doesn't happen to you, and you're struggling. So I feel like the universe gave you a tower moment, pile number one, and you went against the grind. So your angels are asking you to open yourself up. I feel that you may be numbing yourself or overthinking because I'm getting some pressure in my head. Nice pathway here. So something needed to den to end. A karmic cycle needs to complete, and you need to let go of your burdens, pile number one. So each burden that you have with the Ten of Wands, those are usually lessons, so lessons. Wise house here, angels. Okay, so balance is trying to restore itself, and you are trying to come in very quickly. Pile number one, I feel like that you need to bring in your energy. I'm hearing like tick tock, tick tock. I feel that you're running, you feel you're running out of time. So you may feel like you're going to be coming in very quickly or that you need to come in very quickly. Why is family room here, angels? You are focused more on your family. You're trying to get out of... heartbreak and you are letting go of the past you're, you're struggling to let go of the past you are letting go of the heartbreak I feel like you are healing you are wanting to manifest your empress your your love I just heard like love of a life I feel that you are maybe struggling being more loving and nurturing with yourself and being a little guarded. I feel that you struggle. You struggle to accept love and you struggle to feel worthy of what you of what it is you're trying to manifest is what I'm hearing for you. Why is the thief upside down, angels? So you are needing to make a decision. You want to come in, but you're still unable to ground this. So in the 5D, you are manifesting this. You are coming in as the emperor. And this is a high level commitment with the emperor and the empress here. So this is a high level commitment but you're coming from a lack of and not feeling that you can manifest it and that's what you're working on. You do need to make a choice to get out of not feeling grounded and not feeling worthy is what I keep hearing for you, pile number one. All right, angels, what other blessings are coming in for pile number one? So Archangel Michael is here letting you know that you are being protected. You are shielded. Pile number one, you have a sacred union coming in as soon as you surrender this fear. So fear is blocking you from, from love right now. What else angels are coming in? So your angels are letting you know that you are being supported by your angels. I feel like you're somebody very spiritual, pile number one. Oh, guidance, angels. Guidance, please. So it's really important for you, pile number one, to... I feel like you feel somebody ghosted you, maybe stabbed you in the back. <clears throat> you're coming in as the wounded healer, so you're allowing your wounds... You have a tendency not to heal your wounds and you try to numb your wounds. Your angels are asking you to get out of your head space. You're leading with your head and you're not leading with your heart. Your heart 
would allow you to move forward with the situation, but you're too much in your in your headspace with a lot of um, fear. So you are somebody who can astral travel. You are ascending. Um, you're having out of body experiences, but you may be numbing it or you may be blocking it. Any guidance, angels, please? So pile number one, you are being asked to let go of being so guarded, let go of the past, and really focus on clearing your space. Because I feel that you, you have all your burdens, and not just the burdens from this past relationship, I feel that you have a lot of burdens from a lot of past relationships that you've never healed from. And that has left you very guarded, and your angels are asking you to clear your space. So clear your space, not just um, your space with Palo Santo or Sage. Clear your headspace, because you may be overthinking the situation where you may be too much in your headspace. And this is only going to cause you more havoc. Um, I see you going round and round with the situation and, un -being, and not being able to come forward um, to accept your abundance, your wealth, Accept love, um, accept this wish fulfillment, angels are saying. So it's really important for you to focus on filling your own self-love cup, pile number one. Um, meditation would be really good. Self-love affirmations, meditations um, with sound, theta sound waves would be really good. And let's get one more piece of advice for you pile number one angels what advice do you have for pile number one speak your truth so archangel gabriel is here thank you archangel gabriel for helping me to speak my truth with integrity so your angels are asking you just to speak your truth and i feel that this is what's really you're really struggling with this the truth when we're speaking our truth that's really going to allow us to be in our light. And my candle just went out as I said that. So pile number one, you're struggling to speak your truth or be your truth. And that is preventing you from being in your light, angels are saying. And let's get some charms for you. Pile number one. So pile number one, you are getting a unicorn. So you are rare like the unicorn. You're special. Um, initial R is in here, so if that means something for you, and you are receiving, don't quit. So I know you're struggling, but your angels are asking you not to quit. Okay. That was pile number one. I hope that resonates. I am available for angel and love readings. Just go to I Am Life Coaching. That's the only way to book with me. Okay, so 1816, pile number two. Thank you, angels. What blessings are coming for pile number two for June? Oopsies. Angels, what blessings are coming in for pile number two? Apparently a lot. So pile number two, you are getting a great deal of wealth, unexpected income. You're getting a gift from the universe. But notice that the second one is upside down. So you're being asked to feel worthy of receiving it. So restore balance in your life. Some of you, as the universe is gifting you a great deal of abundance, you don't feel worthy of receiving it. You are getting wealth and you are getting a gift. Again, some of you, you're struggling with love. So pile number two, you are struggling to love yourself enough. You think love is difficult. You may think that you're never going to find love. Um, I feel that for some of you, pile number two, you may be trying to control the outcome. You have a great deal of expectations on how love should come to you or how wealth should come to you. Thank you, angels. So I feel that... You have been working really hard on yourself, pile number two, and false person came under lovers. So I feel this is what I'm hearing for you intuitively is that 
The sudden wealth is coming. Stay on your path. Do not let anybody derail you from your pathway. You have been working really hard at this wealth, at this gift that you have been asking the universe for. In regards to love, pile number two, you have an unexpected income, which could be an unexpected abundance around love. You have to feel worthy of receiving love because the lovers came in upside down. And somebody from your past, pile number two, really did a number on you and was very false when it came to love. So I feel that has left you a little guarded, a little apprehensive about receiving love. So as your angels are giving you this gift for June, pile number two, you may um, have a great deal of expectations on how it's supposed to come in. Your angels are asking you to let go of the control, let go of the expectations. Some of you are completing karma. You are completing cycles. Allow that to complete on its own. Thank you, angels. All right, angels. Why is sudden off here, clarity? So the wheel of fortune is turning for you. So where you may have struggled in the past with your abundance, you're going to have a new beginning in truth. Something that wasn't revealed to you is going to be revealed to you. And the karmic wheel of fortune is going to turn. Um, I'm hearing this out. Luck be a lady. Luck is going to be on your side. Why is unexpected income here upside down, angels? For pile number two. So pile number two, you have been really in your headspace. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to take it for two ways. I feel that this is half and half. Some of you have been extremely impatient really in your headspace about a masculine. And this relationship was extremely out of balance. For pile number two and two, the, the second group is you have been out of patience, running out of patience in your headspace about um, opening up your own business, about being an entrepreneur. Balance needs to re be restored for this to come forward is what I'm hearing. What gift will pile number two receive for June? What blessing, angels? So you are going to be receiving communication from a King of Cups. You are going to be receiving forward action for June. I think what may be... Blocking may what may delay is you may feel a little too guarded pile number two when this gift finally does come forward. Why is pathway here upside down? All right, for some of you, you have two suitors. You did a great deal of healing. You had some tower moments that may have gotten you knocked out, knocked you out of your pathway. You, pile number two, you're learning to love yourself. And I feel that if your first suitor doesn't come forward, you're going to be offered a second suitor. And this is something you've been wishing for. I feel, pile number two, you really want love. You're really wanting to manifest. You've been wishing, you've been praying, you've been meditating, using affirmations. Okay, why is lovers here upside down for pile number two? Thank you, angels. Why is lovers here? Okay, so pile number two. The lovers here upside down is this past relationship could have been very toxic. You bit you could have been very codependent to this past relationship. You are coming in as the queen of wands. So you're coming out of hermit mode. I feel that you have broken free from the codependency and you're choosing yourself. You are coming in as a leader. You're standing in your power. You've done a great deal of spiritual growth, pile number two. And you're choosing you. You are choosing your enlightenment path. And that's what's finally going to bring you love by choosing you. 
Why is unexpected coming her upside down? Thank you, angels. So pile number two, you had to move away. Your wish fulfillment didn't come in fast enough. And this could have been abundance or it could have been love. You struggled to let go. And I feel pile number two, you had a great deal of expectations, but you are releasing all this. And if you're not, that's something you need to work on. Toil and labor angels, why is toil and labor angels? One more. So this really left you very guarded. Oopsies. This needed to die off. This past relationship, this wish fulfillment that you have been praying for, meditating on, pile number two, it left you very guarded. It's like you've gone through a, like nine, ten dark nights of the soul. It needed to end off. You've been working really hard on it, but something was something or someone was not revealing their truth and there was a lot of deception here pile number two why is the false person here under lovers why is the false false person here so this did not manifest itself pile number two this false person was not able to manifest coming in because they were being a false person. So I feel that their rejection was God's protection. This did leave you a little guarded, pile number two, but this person that you've been waiting for, this emperor energy, this masculine energy, is not showing up as a knight of wand. They weren't able to manifest it. They were a little too guarded, and they were not being in their truth. So this has been divine intervention that they did not come forward. Courthouse upside down. One more, please, angels. So you're going to have a new passionate beginning. You're going to get out of feeling left out in the cold and feeling so guarded. You have a passionate new beginning around love with your Knight of Cups coming in. All right, pile number two, what is challenging you is just restoring balance, letting go of the past. What you don't see coming is, pile number two, someone from your past does return. They have been working on themselves to come forward. Some of them ending a third-party situation. Some of them, this could be work-related. They were really struggling at work. Cycles are completing this came in as a missed opportunity in the past, but someone from your past returns pile number two. Um, they are trying to manifest a new beginning, so they may be coming in just with an apology. I feel like it's not... You have two offers here, pile number two in love. One of them is you're going to be getting that new beginning. The other one, your person is coming in with an apology as a page of cups. So it's a small apology, but I feel that they're struggling to manifest it. They're struggling to come forward. They're not as grounded and they are still struggling to come forward. But we said what was coming for you, what blessings are coming for you in June. Okay, what else is coming in for pile number two, angels? Pile number two. So pile number two, you are receiving a love offer, a gift. Clarity on this love offer, angels. What guidance do you have? All right, so you are getting... When you let go of the grief and the sadness, which came in upside down, make sure that you're balanced, that your energy is balanced, that you are coming from love, from forgiveness, that you're coming from high vibrational energies. That's how you are going to attract this love offer, pile number two. You have gained a great deal of wisdom. 
you have ascendant pile number two and you are going to be at a fork in the road for some of you as you will be choosing either your soulmate or you will be you will be choosing this emperor from your past this person from your past okay so a love offer is coming in for you in june pile number two what else angels so uh, abandonment is coming in upside down so Pile number two, some of you are feeling abandoned. You're feeling abandoned by this masculine that wasn't able to come forward. Let's get some clarity. Guidance, angels, on the abandonment. Thank you, angels. So pile number two, some of you lost faith. You didn't, you're afraid now to take this leap of faith because you were really scorned you felt when this when your masculine walked away you felt abandoned and you may have struggled with your faith you may have struggled to take a leap of faith with new love so that really that really struggled you it brought you a lot of struggles with your inner child and i feel that the inner child wounding came up to release you from being feeling abandoned making maybe breaking free from codependency your angels are letting you know, pile number two, that this all needed to happen as this was part of your divine plan, your angels are saying. Last blessing for June, angels, please. So your angels are letting you know, pile number two, that you are on your right path. Guidance, angels. Thank you, angels. Gosh, I'm getting chills. All right, so pile number two, you're on your right path. For abundance, you have mastered your emotions. You have taken action within yourself. So this is allowing you to be on your right path. So you are exactly where you're supposed to be, pile number two. So you have a love offer, a love offer coming in. You have abundance coming in. You've mastered your emotions. You're ascending. You're healing. And I feel this is a good month for you, pile number two. All right, let's get some guidance from your angels. Last guidance overall. Oh, we have to pick our lucky charms. Thank you, angels. So move your body. Some of you need to get out, maybe exercise. Um, if you're feeling stuck, a little stagnant, angels are asking you to move your body. I don't know why I just heard jazzercise. So some of you needing to do yoga, needing to walk, run. You are a very peaceful warrior, pile number two. So you actually heal you may actually um shake people you may awaken people with your energy and i feel that you hold the frequency to help others and you also hold the frequency to heal humanity and to help raise the frequency and and the vibration for humanity thank you archangel ariel for helping me stand my ground with peace so everything you do should be coming from peace you should Focus on, which I feel that this is something that you have overcome, pile number two, is transmuting any fear, anger, hurt into love because love is all that exists. You have a loved one in heaven. Thank you, loved ones in heaven, for drawing close to me at this time. So call in on your ancestors. Call in on your spirit guides. I feel that you have a great, like, you have so much happiness abundance you have so many blessings coming in pile number two like i'm so excited for you if you picked this and this resonated please put down in the comments below um i am still available for angel and love readings and if you want to order a love letter or a letter an angel reading from your angels please let me know. The only way to book, there is some fake scammers out there, is you have to book on my website, IamLifeCoaching.com. And let's get a lucky charm for you. Pile number two. All right, pile number two, you are getting a ballerina. So take that leap of faith. I feel that you, somebody has been in and out of your life, but you're now choosing yourself. You have gained so much wisdom, pile number two, and you're getting two passports, pile number two. So I feel that you and a person will be traveling. 
So maybe it's your new soulmate coming in. You are going to be traveling for two. So get ready, pile number two. I'm so excited. Alrighty. So pile number three, we are at 35. Okay, pile number three, what blessings are you receiving for June? What blessings are you receiving for June for pile number three? <clears throat> All right, angels, what blessings is pile number three receiving for June? So you are getting high honor. So I feel that you have been working on a new project, you are going to be taking the world stage where people are going to start recognizing you for all your efforts, for all your hard work. You are coming in as the mature woman, so you are maturing, you are jumping from leaps and bounds. You still have, I feel that some of you feel a little lost on your journey, but you are getting out of your headspace where you have trapped yourself in your mind. Thank you, angels. All right, it's high honor here. So some of you are letting go of despair. And I feel that there was an immature man that you are letting go of. Okay. Immature woman. So some of you... Okay, there's a few scenarios is what I'm hearing. Some of you weren't able to manifest a marriage. For some of you, your marriage ended unexpectedly. This was something that something that wasn't working for you, and it brought you a great deal of wisdom. You're getting a lot of clarity around love as you're coming in as a mature woman and the six is lovers so a marriage proposal or a high level commitment did not work out for you and i'm getting it, it wasn't time right now but there was you or your person really struggled to manifest it you were coming from a place of poverty consciousness we'll get more clarity what blessings are coming in for pile number three. So there is a gift that is coming in for you, pile number three, but I feel that you're not open to receiving it. So the universe is gifting you something and you're like, mm, no, not taking it. Something from your past, a relationship, you were really focused deep in your thoughts, but you're coming out of it. Because you're coming, it's coming under the melt, the mental imprisonment, and it's coming upside down. So something that really had you imprisoned in your mind, you're coming out of. What blessings are coming in for June? So as you let go of what happened in the past, you are going to have great fortune coming forward. Angels are saying. So again, with the sudden wealth coming in upside down. So you have to feel worthy of receiving it. And for some of you, you have too many expectations on how it's supposed to come. So let's say you're trying to manifest $1,000 and the universe gives you $500. And you're like, no, that's not what I manifested. So you have too many expectations on how it's supposed to come in. Um, what I'm getting is... Just because you can't see it the way you've been trying to manifest it, still count your blessings. So how the check may come in is you may get one big check or you may get multiple checks. Or you may get another offer in a different way. But your blessings are coming in as soon as you let go of all the expectations. So some of you are focused around your house. You are focused on love. I feel that... This marriage from this past, this high-level commitment relationship did not work. So for some of you, you are getting lovers, which is also um, a soulmate. 
So something that didn't work out is going to be working out. You need to get out of your headspace. Some of you really got sick. You allowed this to either make you emotionally or mentally sick. And it didn't work out because the timing was off is what your angels are saying. So some of you have been keeping yourself locked in maybe keeping your heart locked in, or you've been in hermit mode, we'll get some more clarity. What other blessings are coming in for pile number three, angels? So you have a change coming in. For some of you, your occupation may be changing. Some of you might be getting a new car, red car. You have to well, you actually you are. You are getting out of your headspace. You are getting out of feeling so imprisoned. And I feel that that is going to allow for that new space, that new energy to come in. This is what I'm hearing. The blessings are coming in for pile number three. What other blessings are coming in for pile number three, Angel? What blessings are coming in? June for pile number three. All right, why is Ayana here? So, <clears throat> you are getting, you're coming in as the Queen of Wands, so you are standing in your power pile number three. You are getting fast moving action. So, balance is going to be restored. You are going to be getting communication on. A job offer there's something that you have been trying to manifest pile number three and you are going to be getting communication on that mature woman old blessings are coming in angels so you are receiving you've been through a great deal pile number three and this person from the past was not able to come forward as a Knight of Wands. So this person has gone through a great deal and they weren't able to release it, but you're still going to get your Ten of Cups. You may not be getting it the way you expected it, pile number three. What blessings are coming in for June for pile number three? Thank you, angels. So you have someone coming in. You, in the past, had to let go of this person. Or maybe they let go of you. They are coming in very quickly as a knight of swords for... They want to bring you an offer, a message... And you are going to be very happy. All right. What else is coming in for pile number three? Blessings, angels. So for some of you, you still need to work on restoring balance. Some of you want to either open up your own business Some of you are going to be collaborating with, with work. You're going to be working with someone. So you may start a new business. You may be working with people you never thought you would work with to start a new business. What's happening over here, angels? Clarity. So as you're no longer feeling guarded or wounded, Your King of Cups is still, for some of you in this marriage situation, your person is focusing on loving themselves enough. They are still focused on everything that went wrong in the past. I feel that for some of you, this could be a marriage. This could have been a high-level commitment. Your person doesn't love themselves enough and it's causing them a great deal of stress and anxiety. They're focused on everything that they lost in your marriage and this high-level commitment, and they're not focused on this new two 
cups that the universe is giving them. Thank you, angels. What else is coming for June? Thank you, angels. <clears throat> so you do have somebody who has been working on their soul lessons. So this marriage or this high-level commitment caused you a tower moment. It was divine intervention. Their rejection was God's protection. You have a new offer coming in, which is a small offer. It's an apology from someone who is learning the soul lessons and who is working on themselves. <clears throat> Thank you, angels. What else is coming in for June? Blessings. One more. Okay. So you are letting go of somebody who was very deceitful in the past. This could have been for work. And as you let go of this person or you let go of this work offer, you're going to be getting victory and you're going to be getting a great deal of fortune. You have to be willing to let go of the past. Um, let go of not feeling worthy of receiving abundance and let go of the expectation. Somebody deceived you around abundance um, at work and it left you a little scorned, which I get it. Okay, lovers, my level of blessings is coming in for lovers, angels. So some of you are going to be having choices around love. I feel for some of you, you were put in a third party situation that is over and a karmic cycle is ending. So something is ending for this new love offer to come forward. You're letting go of that. You may have multiple suitors around love. You have to let go of the past, which I feel like you're working on. And Judgment Day is coming. Judgment's going to be... Some of you are still not letting it go. You're not letting it end. What well, blessings are coming in, angels? One more. All right, so there was a very painful ending with a very toxic person. There's two scenarios. Some of, for some of you, it could have been around work. For some of you, it could be around love. You're coming in as the Queen of Swords, so you're standing in your truth. I, I feel that you had to cut off certain people that were not speaking their truth, that were maybe pulling on your energy, that were too toxic. You had to cut those people out, and you're speaking your truth, and that's why your blessings are coming forward. Thank you, Angel. Blessings are coming in for pile number three for June. What blessings are coming in, angels? So you're coming in with a great deal of healing. You're healing your heart. Guidance, angels, please. You're healing your heart from something that was forbidden, was a great deal of temptation, really had you feeling very stuck. This was all needed for your spiritual awakening. So you've healed from this relationship that wasn't really serving your higher self that allowed you to feel stuck. What other blessing is coming in? So you've gained a great deal of wisdom, or you're, you're gaining wisdom for June, sorry. Guidance for the wisdom, angels. Excuse me. All right, so... Pile number three, you are, this wisdom has brought you very healthy boundaries. 
you are letting go of defense mechanisms that are no longer serving you, and you are understanding that this is all needed as part of divine timing. What other blessings? Uh, you're going to be finding your soul tribe, pile number three. Guidance on the soul tribe, angels. Guidance on the soul tribe. So you're restoring balance. I feel that you are restoring balance with people who were not as awakened you, like people that were unconsciously or the unconscious people that were around you were really pulling on your energy and you're restoring balance to pull in your soul tribe. I feel that these people, well, these people, some of them, who were around you still need to master their emotions or maybe you still need to master your emotions but your soul tribe is coming in so pile number three you have healing coming in you have wisdom you have your soul tribe coming in you have your ten of cups you have um victory with a new career you have your truth you have a lot coming in and these are great blessings so i hope that resonates please um ooh. Our charms. Okay. Oh, pile number three. So you have a fox. So be mindful to make sure people, they're having me put that on the truth, that make sure that you are reading your energy and other energy around you, that you're trusting your intuition. You and your person are going to be traveling. You and your new love. You are gaining freedom with the horse here for June, and you're going to be very busy, busy as a bee. You're turning over a new leaf, and for some of you, I don't know if Paris has something to do with this. Paris to me is romance, passion. You may be traveling to Paris. You may be, um, I don't know, learning to speak French, pile number three. So that's all I have for you, pile number three. I hope this resonated. I am sending you guys much love and light. Please feel free to book an angel reading, a love reading with me. You can only book it on my website, IamLifeCoaching.com. I'm sending you guys so much love. Namaste. Bye.